Today is March 8th, and we finally get an update to Battlefield 2042. It went live pretty early this morning, but I stay up late anyway, so I figured I might as well check it out. Why not have a look? I knew this update was coming, and it would just be related to the scoreboard, so that's all I was expecting, and that's exactly what we got. With the update, DICE released this little blurb on Steam. It's a quick read, so let's go through it right now. No pets. Update number 3.3 releases on Tuesday, March 8th. This update brings further bug fixes, control, and key binding related changes, the introduction of the updated scoreboard functionality, and the release of the Steadfast exclusive legendary bundle. As a thank you to Gold Edition, Ultimate Edition, Year One Pass, and Year One Pass and Ultimate Pack upgrade owners. That was a lot. With the introduction of the updated scoreboard functionality, we'd once again like to express our commitment to listening to your feedback and improving your in-game experience with each update. Our next update is presently scheduled to arrive in early April. It will include a larger set of changes and fixes, as well as the introduction of VoIP functionality for squads and the refresh scoreboard being available during the end of round. We're also targeting balance changes for weaponry on vehicles, including the MC5 Bolt, alongside an overhaul of attachment behavior for infantry weapons across the board. We'll continue to keep you informed on the rollout of update number 3.3 via the Battlefield Com Twitter account. You can also follow along with our tracking of known issues and game changes that we're able to make in real time on our Battlefield forums, the Battlefield team. Okay, so we got that out of the way. I, for one, I am looking forward to the update regarding the attachment behavior. Hopefully that update will affect the gameplay a little bit because I'm not a huge fan of the gunplay right now, but that's just me. Okay, enough stalling. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. So first, let's take a look at the scoreboard from the middle of a match. It's exactly the kind of thing you would have expected to have at launch. You can see both teams have columns for score, kills, deaths, assists, revives, and objectives. Off to the left, you'll have a quick at a glance view of your performance along with ribbon progression. Like I said, exactly the kind of thing that should have been there at launch, but we have it now, so that's cool. Now the reasoning behind why the traditional scoreboard wasn't present at launch is probably the whole don't want to hurt anyone's feelings argument or something, but now that we have it, and I had the chance to take a good look at it, there might be another reason. Let's rewind to the beginning of the match. Here's what the scoreboard looks like when you have players trickling in. The bots are all listed here. I didn't expect the bots to be here, just the players, so I found it kind of odd. It kind of feels like there was groundwork for this kind of scoreboard already, but didn't want players to show up in a server. See, there's only four human players against 124 bots, and then just dip and try searching for a game again. Some of you may have expected this kind of thing in fair play, but I didn't and I was kind of thrown off by it. I mean, we all know the bots are there and they're placeholders for actual players as they join in, but I do find it kind of odd. I guess I could check if I'm doing worse than a bot now, so <laughs> that's gonna be pretty funny. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, but I did wanna bring it up because I don't really feel like it's necessary to track the bot's performance. I'm pretty sure the AI is constantly checking their KD, right? So that's the scoreboard. It's just a scoreboard. That's it, that's the tweet. The Steadfast Bundle is supposed to release today as well, but at the time of making this video, it's like almost 5.30 in the morning for me. The bundle itself hasn't been released just quite yet, but if things go smoothly, those that had the gold and ultimate editions of the game should be getting this bundle later today. So what do you guys think? Was the scoreboard worth the wait? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like what you saw, consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons as that always helps me out. Any and all links can be found in the description down below along with my social media, including my Twitter and Twitch. With that being said, stay hydrated. I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you next time.